It's a glorious day out there. I'm Melissa at Safe Haven Ministries, and we're just going to jump into the message today. And and it's it's found in Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. It's not upbeat, but it's what we need to know and the way we need to walk. You know, I wish I could tell you that Christianity is easy, easy peasy. You won't have persecution. You won't have trials. You won't have hard things to go to. Ah! piece of cake. It's not. It's not, nor will it be. So we're going to get in today, and I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. I look like I'm kind of side goggling today. I don't mean to be, but I am. So let's look at Revelation 2. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto, unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Today I want to talk to, to you, to people who are facing circumstances that absolutely are beyond your control. There's not a thing you can do to straighten it out or make it right. And and in the midst of this, this really hopeless situation, you feel like you've got tentacles wrapped around you that are, are draining out your fortitude and your and your desire to just keep on going straight. It's not easy. It's not easy. But I tell you the truth. You know, every person has faced something fearful in his life. Every person. And I want you to stay faithful to the end because that's where the victory is. If you poop out in the middle, you don't see the things that God has for you. You don't get the victory that God has claimed for you. It's so important that we we respond to a crisis the right way because the one we're facing right now, there's going to be more. It, this isn't one thing, a one-time deal. No, Satan will come after you over and over and over again to see if he can drag you down. He may not be able to hit you head on sometimes, but he wears at you. Like dripping water is just wearing and wearing. You know, you will always have an opportunity to be tested in this lifetime. It's, it's just a given. That's why you got to make a decision before it happens that you will not throw in the towel. You won't bend to circumstances and you are never going to quit. It doesn't matter what happens to me or what hap or what the devil says. I'm going to do what God told me. That has to be our attitude. I've mentioned this several different times in several different passages. So God's not telling us this one time. He's saying, listen, hold on with everything you've got. Don't give up. Set your face like flint and continue on the path I've given you. To be victorious in this lifetime means we have to decide we will not budge in our commitment to God regardless of the cost. That's a big one right there. You know, Jesus says, count the cost. Count the cost. Any other attitude will compromise. And compromise leads to failure. And failure leads to defeat. In Revelation 2.10, it says, Be faithful unto death. Hmm. What does that mean? You know, we need to know that people in previous generations, as well as people right now, are facing crushing circumstances. Listen to Christians in America. Look at look at what they're upset about. Ah, I broke a nail. I'm gonna have to go back to the nail guy, whatever they call that. That's not that. That's what they call it, is it? No. <laughs> I, 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 you know. Oh gosh, I, I hate that. I've got a flat tire. It's just gonna ruin my day. Oh, my kids have to wear a mask or don't have to wear a mask. I, I just, you know, I've got to make all these. Stop it. Stop it. You don't know what people are going through around the world. And, and we are, if we can't stand up to a broken nail, if we can't say, God, I'm here with you and I'm going to stand no matter what, if we can't do that, what in the world do you think you're going to do when persecution hits? I'm telling you what you're going to do. You're going to fall away. Fall away. I can't, I can't speak this enough. Jesus knew the believers in Smyrna that they refused to throw in the towel and they refused to surrender. And he knew how steadfast they were, but he said this to them, 
fear none of those things which you shall suffer. And then he goes on and he says, be faithful to the end, unto death. Jesus didn't give them false hope. He didn't say, you know what, folks, it's going to get a whole lot better. No, it's, it's going to get better. He didn't say that. He said, I'm telling you, there's laid out trap after trap for you. And I'm warning you, be faithful to death. When it says, be thou faithful, it means become faithful. Or uh, keep on being faithful. It's not just be faithful. There's more to it. So become faithful. Try being faithful in small things and small things. So that in the end, we have developed a pattern of being faithful. Give it your best effort. Putting all your energy into becoming more and more faithful in every situation in life. The word faithful in the Greek is pistos. And, and it's the most common word in the New Testament. And it means faithful, reliable, loyal, and steadfast. It's interesting because Jesus was requiring his people a very high standard, really. He said, you have to be devoted, trustworthy, dependable, dedicated, constant, and unwavering. Wow. If thou, it be thou faithful unto death. What does that mean? Well, a faith a faith that remains steadfast only when times are good is not good enough. Jesus said to remain faithful to the death. The word death is thanatos, thanatos. And it's a word that means the physical state of death or extinction. But in the New Testament, it also refers to mortal danger a dangerous circumstance, something that is fatal, like a death penalty. Jesus had already foretold the church at Smyrna, it's not going to get easier. It's going to get more difficult with time. But he's telling them, you know what? Not only will you face a death penalty, it may be a cruel death. And, and by the Greek words, they knew that. And yet they said, we're not going to bend. We're, not, we're going to be faithful to the end. Very few people in America will ever walk through this right now. Am I telling you that's a forever thing? I am not. I am telling you we have to be ready. You know, God has great plans for you and for me. So rather than look at the situation you're in today and go, this is just, there's no way out. What am I going to do? I don't know what to do. God says, Open your eyes to every opportunity that's in the middle of a crisis. We have opportunity to witness, opportunity to pray, opportunity to change situations in our life. And if we get bogged down in what we're going through, then we can't do that for the Lord. We've got to say, Lord, help us see every situation through your eyes. When Jesus died, God didn't accept that thinking of the majority of the world that said, well, it's over. It's over. It's finished. He's done. There is no more. God said, no, 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 no. I see opportunity for resurrection. I see opportunity to bring in millions and trillions and billions and multi, multi billions into the kingdom of Jesus Christ. I see that opportunity. And he took it. He took it. Your best days are not behind you. They're in front of you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray strength for every believer. I pray, Father, that we realize that it is not over. It's not over. And we have to stay committed to the very end, to the very end. Lord, whether we buy, die by a natural death or we die by, uh, by prison, whatever the, the enemy faces, puts in front of us, Lord, give us the strength and the courage to walk right up to the end and say, I remain faithful. I fought a good fight, I fought a good fight, and I held the faith. That's what we need to say every day. Choose to be faithful unto death. I know this wasn't upbeat today, but it's something that we need to get in our spirit, man, because we've slid along for a long, long time on Easy Street. It's not always going to be that way. God bless you today. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll try to do upbeat tomorrow. Uh. Or not, you never know. God bless.